I'm Paula Hirsch, and today we visit Yorktown. In the warmer months, historic Yorktown comes alive as the attractions open and special events fill the calendar. And joining me today are two gentlemen that know all about that, Mike Steen, Education Director for the Waterman's Museum, and Pete Devleague, who is a coordinator for one of the best events along the waterfront, Pirates Invade Yorktown. Welcome, gentlemen. Welcome. Welcome. Thank, you. Thank you. Mike, let's start with you. How about a little history on the Waterman's Museum? Well, the Waterman's Museum has been open since the, the mid-1980s. Again, they moved the house across from Gloucester uh, to, to its present location. And uh, the mission of the museum is to interpret and preserve the heritage of the watermen of the Chesapeake Bay. And uh, by definition, water means, watermen is pretty much anybody who works on the water or makes their living from the water. So what the museum does is it, we tell a timeline of the maritime history of Yorktown and the people that work the waterfront. So we uh, exhibits go from the first watermen, the Virginia Indians, all the way up through the American Revolution and 1812, the Civil War, up to the modern military as well. Mike, it's a very important attraction along the waterfront and many people uh, visit it. Tell us about the hours when it's open and uh, how do people join or do they just come when they want? Okay, we, the museum actually is open from Tuesday to Sunday. And uh, we open at 10 o'clock, we close down at five. And people can just come on in we get about 20,000 visitors through the door every year, uh, as well as about 4,000 school children. Uh, and, uh, so we have docents all working on hand. We have volunteers in the boat shop who are rebuilding boats. We have volunteers for the education programs and special events. So we can use, use lots of volunteers to help the museum run. Uh, we also run special events. So we're working with the planning group here in Yorktown to organize about nine big special events per year. Uh, following the important history points for Yorktown. And uh, we also tried to, to involve the community. So the museum hosts a monthly folk jam on the second Wednesday of every month for the last nine years. And we also host the regional swing dance on the third Monday. And the fourth Monday is always the Yorktown Story Slam. So a lot of big community public events going on. And is the museum open year-round, or are these the hours during season? Well, we closed down for January and February, so we can actually uh, make new exhibits and, and get uh, the, the area spruced up, per se, for the springtime. So we reopen in April and uh, are running full tilt uh, from, from now until Christmas time. Excellent. And you said special events, and so of course that brings us to Pete, who is uh, heads up one of the all-time best uh, special events hosted at the Waterman's Museum, uh, Pirates Invade Yorktown. Pete, tell us about this event and how it got started and your involvement. Well, <clears throat> it really got started and it's only going to be a one-year event, and, but because it took off so well, but we have a very low budget. So that's part of the problem we had to start with, but then thanks to our great pirates that come out and did all this reenactment with a very low budget, we began to make it happen. And then Mike joined us and with the Riverwalk and we just made the event go. And it's just a really good event. And if you really like the event, then you need to go to Riverwalk Landing and do some shopping so we can get a bigger budget. That sounds like a good idea. Yes. So tell us about <coughs> some of the planned activities that happen with uh, Pirates Invade Yorktown. One of the more popular ones is uh, where we train the kids how to actually act like pirates and seamen and back in that day and the different things that we do. Um, and they really get, get attracted to that. The other second one that's probably just as popular is a cannon fire. And we have a cannon fire demonstration and they go through all the, everything it takes to actually fire a cannon and then we fire them. And it's pretty amazing, you know, to see that go off. So. I can also imagine that with every pirate event, there ought to be a good treasure hunt. So you have yes. one of those, right? We do. And it goes all over um, York, uh, Yorktown. And it's a wonderful place. You can visit most of the shops and get to see what's going on, as well as at the end of our treasure hunt, there is always some good treasure to be found there. <clears throat> so, and since it's a really good treasure hunt, you know there's a fantastic map that probably goes with it. And I think that's where you really showcase the Riverwalk mm -hmm. Landing partnership. Yes, it is. And it's a wonderful map. And at each shop, you get a coin. And then at the end of, you get all of the stops at Riverwalk Landing. And then you can go back and turn your coins in for a prize. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun and probably yes. a big part of the event. Yes. 
So that's all going on outside, pirates yeah. everywhere. But I'm sure inside the Waterman's Museum, there's plenty for people to do and see. Yes, lots of exhibits in the museum. Okay, we, we talked about the, the timeline of Yorktown. So we have exhibits from Virginia Indians all the way up through the, the modern period to include an exhibit on shipwrecks and the current work being done for, to find the Cornwall shipwreck from 1781. Um, let's switch gears a little bit from mm -hmm the spring events to the mm -hmm. summer events, because that's mm -hmm. when the crowds come down to the beach. Um, and I think that includes camps, doesn't it, for the Waterman's Museum? It does. Actually, we have seven camps going uh, yearly now. Uh, the, of course, the big one is Pirate Camp, and we use uh, from, grade, from kindergarten through grade five. We use pirates to teach environmental science, essentially. You wrap it up in a flag, they have no idea, what, well, they don't un quite understand what they're learning. Uh, but we also have, have camps for the middle school age. Uh, so grade three to grade eight, we have boat building. And we have archaeology to include some underwater archaeology work. And we also have nature explorers to study all the different habitat zones. Uh, this year we're adding uh, got another middle school program. It's called Maritime Explorers. All the forms for the camps uh, are available at watermans.org on the museum's website. And they can either come by in person and pick up information on the site, or then go online and download the forms there and turn them as well. Well, that sounds great, and I presume they can find the calendars for all the events. Yes. Is there anything that you'd like to add, Pete, about uh, the pirates? Well, there's things you can do during the summertime, like the uh, Schooner Alliance, and if you want a pirate feeling without the effect, you, there's always a Schooner Alliance that sits down there. Um, and it's a wonderful ride, goes down the York River, so, and it uh, happens pretty much all week long. We look forward to enjoying another great season down in historic Yorktown. Thanks again. Stay with us, and when we come back, we're going to talk about another great event that happens down on the waterfront, and I think you'll recognize the guests. Stay tuned. Welcome aboard the Free Yorktown Trolley. Welcome back as we continue to visit Yorktown. We may have heard a little something about an event that we have down on Saturday mornings at the waterfront. It starts mid-April and there's something new every weekend. And with me today is Chef Kay, a familiar face down at Yorktown Market Days. Hey. Welcome. Thank you. It's great to be here today. So Chef Kay, tell us why you got involved and what makes the Market Days so special. Um, I just love, of course, the view and I'm a huge history buff. So that's what I like to do, spend my free time. So where the market is located, you know, is right there where everything, the big surrender happened, all that's going on. And um, the beautiful view of the river, I mean, you can't beat that. On a Saturday morning, if you've got to be at work and enjoying your time, that's the best place to be, especially when it's sunny and nice outside. All the, the community comes out, everything is just, we just have a great time together. The vendors, we're like family. We take care of one another, you know, help each other out as we're setting up and stuff. It's just a really cool community to hang out with. What would a visitor see on a Saturday morning at Yorktown Market Day? Well, they have some that have like flowers, the forest and everything. They've got a great seafood vendor. Um, they've got the fresh produce, there's a couple of them. And I end up usually getting my stuff that I'm gonna use through the week, you know, as, as the fresh <laughs> gardens right there. I mean, everything's just set up for you, so. So, and there's jewelry. I mean, they have all the like sea glass jewelry, stuff like that. There's all the artists there. Just all kinds of fun stuff. You know, you want to check it out. It's pretty cool. Well, and if the chefs say that it's a place to buy <laughs> groceries, then it's okay by Absolutely. me too. Um, when you're down at the market days, what are you doing? For me, I do um, the fire in the bowl. 
that's one of my famous ones. And I'm usually at the tent, come, come see me. I'm there every Saturday near the entertainment usually. They have line of entertainment. And my fire in the bowl is a spicy. Do you like spicy? Oh yeah, that's some good stuff. I'm gonna leave that for the crew. <laughs> oh, very good. Well, when we have a lot of fun, the entertainment, myself, and even the other vendors around me, when somebody buys it, we yell, fire in the bowl, ho! You know, so everybody gets into it. Um, and then I also do like some chicken salads and some fresh veggie salads almost every day. We, we also um, ac accommodate to the like gluten-free, lactose-free. So we make a nice selection of ready to go and ready to eat. And the markets run from April and through to December. And um, so they have, every week they have a different demo. And I'm there several times throughout the year and I do, um, anything. That for, I might do stuff that's actually in my cookbook. I have the Yorktown Market Days book. This is one of them. Um, and that was actually because my customers uh, said, what are we going to do whenever the market closes? And I thought, oh, ding, idea. So I have another cookbook out. I said, well, let's write this cookbook. And we had a great sale with them in the December markets. And people were like, okay, this is what I'm doing in January. I'm cooking Chef K. So we had a lot of fun with that. Well, and we are very fortunate to be able to go down and see you do some of the cooking demos. Absolutely. And we were at a recent one, so we're going to take a quick look, if that's okay with you, All at right. your demo. Sure. Oh, who likes a Taco Tuesday? Yeah! Oh, all right, excellent. Who likes good spicy food? Yeah. All right, that's what I like to hear. All right, is everybody ready to be amazed? Yeah. Are you sure? I can't yeah. hear you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Here we go. You stick it right in like that. Just like that, homemade mayonnaise. And you can add a little sriracha in here too if you want. Depends on how spicy you want. When you guys are cooking at home, who are you trying to please? Not me, your palate, right? So make sure that you do it as you want. Bring in the spice. Put together some of these wraps. Make a wrap for me, put together the wraps. All right, here we go. I'm not a good rapper. Why I'm doing this, you guys are amazed, right? Yeah. Of course. I want you guys to practice your oohs and ahs, because when I get done with this, I'm going to have to hear it, OK? Get your oohs and ahs ready. <laughs> See, there you go. There we go. <laughs> All right, so we got the extra there. We're going to come in with a little bit of our homemade guac. Oh, there we go. That's what I like. All right, very good. Then we're going to come in with that chipotle aioli. Now you ready? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, what? Yeah, here we go. One more time, guys. There's the finished dish. Here we go. What do you think? We'll set this down here. Boom. What do you think? Ooh. Hey, all right. Very good. So if people can't get down to Yorktown Market Days to see your demos, where else can they read your recipes and see what you do? Well, I mentioned the cookbook. Um, and also I have a YouTube channel now, it's Chef K Cooking, and I have a website, chefkcooking.com, so they can check out recipes there, they can check out some different fun demos that I do on the YouTube channel, and I'm on the CBS Morning Show through yeah, so Richmond, the WTVR, now, once a month so at least, so. Well, good, so you're everywhere, right? Yep. Just look up Chef K Cooking and find me out there. In addition to the regular Saturday markets that we have in the season, there's also some themed markets. Mm -hmm. Tell us about some of your favorites. Well, we have one that's in April, and it's the French market, and I love that one. And we we, we kind of try to theme with the theme of the market. So we do fresh beignets in the morning, and then we bring out the crepes in the afternoon, all the different varieties. Um, I love that one. We do the holiday market, which um, in the fall, the markets st start going a little bit longer, too. They go to, like, later in the afternoon. So we actually have um, the harvest market. And I love the fall. I like the, using the pumpkin seeds, using the butternut squash, pulling all that in together, you know, make some delicious dishes. So that's a lot of fun. And, and the, all the different colors. And you're ready for that cooler weather by that time, you know. So I have a lot of time with that. A lot of fun. And the paws market. The, the paws is in doggy paws. You can bring your pets and everything. And you can actually do that every weekend, which is a nice thing. A lot of us vendors have little water bowls for them out there and stuff. Is there anything else you wanted to tell us about Chef K? The nice touch that we have I wanted to talk about is we have a registered dietitian on staff. So anything that I'm doing like gluten-free, lactose-free, vegan, vegetarian, that's all approved by the dietitian. So we try to follow. There's so many dietary needs these days, you know, and they're getting more and more. So we really try to follow it so you have all kinds of selections out there. So you know, come see me. We'll have some yummy, delicious dishes. That's awesome. And we'll see how she cooks them, too. <laughs>
thanks, Chef Kay. You're a wonderful addition to our Yorktown Market Days, oh, and we're so you. glad you're a part of it. <laughs> and why don't you stay with us, because when we come back, we're going to find out how you can stay connected to all the happenings down at the waterfront and during this break, information about Yorktown Market Days. Welcome back. We're joined now by Tourism Development Manager Christy Olson Hayes, whose job is to make sure we all visit Yorktown. Welcome, Christy. Thank you. Well, Christy, I promised everybody we were going to let them know how they can stay connected and make sure they know all the happenings down in historic Yorktown. So what are the ways that people can do that? Um, there are four main ways that they can get information. First, our website, which is visityorktown.org as well as our social media channels, also visit Yorktown. Our In The Loop blog, where you can get all of the behind the scenes information on things to see and do in Yorktown, as well as our annual event brochure. The event brochure is a huge project for our tourism office each year. We break it down by season um, in the brochure and we work with all of our community partners to highlight all the great things going on in Yorktown, on the waterfront and throughout historic Yorktown. So. The brochure is chock full of stuff, and I'm sure it's available on the website so people can, can find it there. Why don't you give us a little walkthrough through your website? Sure. You'll go to visityorktown.org, and we have five main categories at the top of the web. Events, see and do, eat and drink, stay, and travel tools. Events is probably one of our most popular for the community. We highlight um, flyers for many of the upcoming events on this drop-down bar here and we ha update those about two months in advance. But one of the most user-friendly and wonderful features is our calendar. When you get to the searchable calendar, you'll go to the day that you'd like to visit or you may have family in town that you're bringing to Yorktown. So you would click on that particular weekend or day that you would be visiting and you'll get a list of all of the events that are happening throughout Yorktown on that particular day. So for example, if you are interested in our Blues, Brews and Barbecue, festival, which is also an annual event. It would bring up the event details for that particular event. On the right hand side, you would have all the specifics, who to contact, where the event is, the time, whether there's an admission or not, as well as any highlighted videos or photos that might give you more information on that particular event. Well, that's awesome. And how far out do all of these events go? Um, currently, we have events throughout the entire year. We do populate hundreds of events, hundreds of events on this calendar annually and from many of our partners in town. So for example, um, the county sponsors events, but we have many partner organizations that also sponsor events and that we co-sponsor events with. So we'll be adding things continuously. It's ever changing. We do have great print materials, but that's the beauty of the web is that it's instant and we can continue to add things as we become aware of them. In addition to the events, I saw that there were dining and shopping options as well on the website? Absolutely. Again, back to these five main categories. Under the see and do, you can pretty much pick anything that you're interested in. If you want a shopping um, experience, you can see all of the shops in Yorktown. If you're looking for restaurants, we have dining. We've also broken it out into family-friendly activities, on the water, outdoor fun, sports and recreation, arts and culture. So, which Whatever your interest is, there's something for everyone. Under Eat and Drink, we feature the Yorktown restaurants as well as events that are upcoming that highlight culinary experiences. In the stay, um, again, if folks aren't staying with you and they need lodging accommodations, um, we have a complete list of all of York County's lodging, including bed and breakfast, hotels, campgrounds. We have a lodging at a glance sheet, vacation packages that include tickets through 
um, the destination and special deals that might be offered. And then one of my favorite components of the website is travel tools. Um, a lot of really pertinent information once you decide that you might be attending an event or coming to visit Yorktown. We have a virtual visitor guide. We have frequently asked questions, local links to all of our partner attractions in the historic triangle and even beyond, our trolley and parking information. Um, getting here, directions, video gallery, anything you might want to and explore. And I see that in the loop, which you mentioned as something for behind the scenes. What, yes. is that, what does that consist of? Our In the Loop blog is the most current information, most recent blog post from our internal blogger. So you can find anything from new businesses to special events to vacation tips, what to do, arts and performing arts. We have them broken down into categories. If you should click on special events, You'll see we have a scrolling tab here where you can see many of the events that are held throughout the season in Yorktown. Everything from spring, summer, fall, and even the holidays if you just want to take a deeper dive into what that experience is. Um, we are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, you can follow us on any of these, again, at Visit Yorktown. And from our visityorktown.org homepage, you can access all of our social media channels right at the top and we also have a live feed of our Instagram post. So when they are posted, they pull right into our website. So if you wanna see the most current Instagram post, you can find them right on the web as well. We always encourage folks to use hashtag Visit Yorktown. You never know when your picture might show up in many of our feeds and social media channels. And we may even ask you permission to use one of your photos. And on our Facebook page, you'll, you'll often see live stream from many of our concerts and events. And we also create event pages where we have detailed information about parking and more logistical information that once you've made the decision to come to Yorktown, you can find a lot of those details that aren't necessarily found in the brochure or on the flyers. Thank you, Christy, for all the work you and your staff do to make sure we have all the information we need if we want to visit Yorktown. And thank you for watching, and make sure you join us and make plans to visit Yorktown.